Hello YouTube, I'm back with another um, video. In the last video, I showed you how to uh, create uh, USB installations for PF scenes. In this video, I will mainly discuss about the minimum hardware requirements and um, the hardware sizing. So the minimum uh, requirement uh, based on the official um, guidance is uh, for the CPUs. The minimum requirement is 600, 600 megahertz or faster for the RAM at 512 megabit or more for the um, bit try um, 4 GB it can be a solid state try or hard try uh, my recommendation is you a solid state try because it's fast reliable and uh, it's safe power um, one or more uh, compatible uh, network interface cards, you're gonna need uh, two. Uh, unless you're gonna run it on a um, virtual environment, you're gonna need uh, two. One for um, at least two, one for um, WAN or um, wide area networks, and uh, the other one for LAN or local area networks. Uh, you're gonna need a bootable USB. Um, basically, uh, you, uh, to use this, to install PFC on the um, hardware that you choose to uh, use or CD, DVD, ROM for the initial installations next let's talk about the uh, hardware selections and uh, hardware sizing so for hardware sizing it depends on uh, how many device um, gonna be on your network that really depends for most home users the basic minimum requirement or a little bit higher than the basic minimum requirement should satisfy um, the requirement and also the two put considerations and other factor to uh, consider is uh, the VPN um, it depends on uh, what type of uh, VPN protocol you be using the most popular one at OpenVPN if you know, uh, for those who use OpenVPN before, uh, they is CPU intensive. They use a lot of CPU power to encrypt, decrypt. So, if you plan on using OpenVPN on your PFC box, then I suggest you should look for the the one that have a uh, AES and ICE. Uh, advanced encryption standards new instructions if the CPU support the hardware encryptions it's gonna speed up the process of uh, encrypting and decrypting that definitely affect your throughput for um, the network and uh, another factor to consider uh, is uh, the package you're gonna be using Snore Suricata for um, uh, IDS or uh, IPS intrusion prevention system or intrusion detection system uh, Suricata and Snore they use a lot of RAM uh, they require a significant amount of RAM the minimum requirement uh, just not gonna uh, you, you're just not gonna be able to run it on with the minimum requirement uh, I think uh, the minimum requirement to uh, run Snore and Suricata should be a 4 gigabit RAM at least and uh, up optimize at uh, 8 gigabyte uh, of RAM uh, another thing at uh, between uh, Snore and Suricata Snore uh, do not support multiple uh, multi-threaded would mean that uh, it doesn't ma matter how many core you have on your CPUs, it's still gonna use one. So we kind of um, came out uh, after Snore, and it does however support a uh, multi-threaded, which is another advantage. All right, uh, let's talk about how was elections. So. If you go on uh, Amazon and uh, you look for PF scenes, they're gonna have a bunch of uh, PF scene box. These box are made for uh, you to run a PF scene, Rotec LI or whatever you call it. Uh, 
this guy actually manufactured in uh, California so if you local here in uh, Southern California you can actually go there and pick it up from their local store if not you can order from Amazon it expensive in my opinion but you get what you pay for it quality uh, I seen it before I test it out and it worked great uh, so why are you um, you can get a cheap old PC probably like for a hundred or two hundred dollar and you can run PFC on it but why do I would rather to pay for um, this device compared to running on an older uh, PC most older PC uh, power supply is 240 watt and remember that the PFC box is going to be run like 24 over 7 because you'll be using it as a firewall and router for me I'm using it as a combination of a firewall and a router so yes it's gonna be constantly on and it's gonna be using a lot of power unless uh, electricity is not a factor then yes you can get the older PCs so all the boxes uh, they have different configurations it depends on your need what you're gonna run on your network um, if you just need like basic uh, filter out all the advertise you don't want to see filter out all the website that you don't want your kid to go to um, then just you the minimum requirement it should work uh, if you have a lot of device on net your network then pick the one that have uh, at least like uh, multiple multi uh, multiple core uh, for the CPUs and if you plan on using a VPN, open VPN, then pick the one with the ASNI for the RAM. Once again, if you gonna be a monitor your network um, using a uh, auto package for uh, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention system, then you're gonna need a lot of RAM. Uh, at the minimum, I think it's four gigabyte is good, or uh, at least. Uh, at least 4 GB and uh, at optimize as 8 GB or uh, you can go with uh, another option is uh, buy one of those uh, small platform PC uh, this is the one uh, actually the one I have at home uh, the Dell Optiplex 7010 it uh, it comes with the i5 multiple core, uh, core 8 GB of RAM and 250 GB of uh, disk drive. However, uh, I release the um, hard drive with the SSD. I think at the, for the SSD, 120 GB SSD is good enough to uh, run the PFC on. Uh, unless you do a lot of intensive. Um, and you want to keep track of all the uh, log, all the uh, you're gonna capturing a lot of package. Then uh, 120 gb is more than enough. And uh, to run it on the all uh, small platform PC, you're gonna need at least uh, two network interface card which is one I gonna use one uh, the uh, the WAN for the onboard one and LAN I gonna um, use this with the Intel uh, Pro 1000s you can get these on uh, Amazon on eBay they're pretty cheap uh, I seen people run uh, PFC on the virtual environment or on the PC gaming it's not recommended to guys because the PC gaming it decide to use a lot of power on the C uh, on a, I think I think most of um, the gaming PC the PSU at least a 650 watt and you'll be leaving it on 24 over 7 that a lot of electricity uh, so unless money is not an issue uh, by all means you can run it on the gaming PC but if not, try to keep the power as low as possible. Uh, 
and even that uh, when I purchasing the small platform uh, I actually disable the uh, DVD drive actually disconnect the physical connection the electric power to the DVD and then I disable the onboard USB I just leave it, um, the one that I'm using for the keyboard and the mouse and uh, that's about it now some of you may have a question that, um, you have an older um, laptop at home can you run it on uh, your laptop yes you can but uh, something to consider um, if your laptop come with like USB 2 foil know that your um, Ethernet speed is going to be limited by that factor the, the data transfer uh, for uh, speed of uh, USB 2 foil so something to keep in mind because you're going to need a minimum of uh, two network interface which is one uh, the Ethernet on board a laptop and the second one obviously you have to get the USB uh, Ethernet and that all depend on uh, the speed of the USB that the the factors to consider but yes you can run it on the older PC and in the next video I'll show you how to install the um, PFSense on uh, the Dell Optilex uh, 71010 or it, it, it works the same for any other device it just um, it might be a little bit different you might have to go in uh, their BIOS setting and change the boot order a little bit different than uh, what I'm gonna do with the, L, uh, the Dell Optilex uh, 710 so thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.